right, guys, here is your time signature again, okay? Now, we are all familiar with a time signature that looks like this. Yeah? So here's what I want to know. What does this top number mean? is it that that number tells us? Hmm? Yes, that is the number of beats in a bar. So if that's the number of beats in the bar, what does the bottom number one is the kind of note that gets one beat. Okay. So let's do our note tree. And I'm going to use the North American terminology rather than the European terminology because it makes it a little bit easier when you're figuring out time signatures, okay? So, this one is what? No. That is your whole note, okay? And right now, out my dot is a dotted half note. It gets three beats. Again, we're talking about four, four, time signatures. Here, no dot. That is your half note. How many beats does the half note get? There's that dot again. This would be a dotted what? Yes, it's a crotchet, but in North American language, it is a dotted quarter note. And it has one and a half. quarter note. One beat. There's two more that I want to do. Okay, what's that? Good, your eighth note. And how many beats does it get? So it only gets one beat when there's a pair of them. So if there's only one, okay, and finally, So right now, 4-4 four, four time, you have four beats in the bar, and the kind of note that gets one beat is our quarter note. And I know that because of our fractions in math, the 4 says quarter. 